All right, today we're gonna do a versus challenge and actually it's pretty unfair. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try this not very appealing looking like soy beef, I guess. Uh, it does not look very good to me, but I'm gonna give it an honest try. You know, maybe it'll be all right. Versus uh, regular ground beef that's from uh, my family farm. So we're gonna make burgers. I got some eggs here. Uh, because I like eggs on my burgers, so we're gonna do that. And I've got some bread. I guess I don't have um, buns, really. There's a couple flies in here. Get out of here. Um, I don't really have buns, um, but I do have this bread, so I guess really it's gonna be more like a patty melt or something. But uh, yeah, we'll give this a go. Okay, they claim that it cooks, sears, and tastes like ground beef, but 100% animal free. Is it impossible? You bet. So are they admitting that it's not gonna taste the same? Well, I guess we're gonna see. That does not smell good at all. Mm. It should still be good. Um, it said user freeze. We have a couple days left at least. It's been in the refrigerator. Um, it smells kind of like Alpo, like that dog, like that wet dog food is what it smells like. It actually holds together pretty nicely when you make, when you form it into a patty. Um, so that's one positive thing. It smells like dog food mixed with tuna is what it smells like. Okay, yeah, it totally smells like dog food mixed with tuna. So those are the impossible patties. Now we'll make some of the uh, regular ground beef ones. Yeah, I don't really smell anything <laughs> with this one. Um, I mean, it's just normal meat smell, I guess, but uh, these are what the patties look like. Side by side. Impossible and possible. So we're gonna cook them both up and give it a shot. Gonna use uh, cast iron. I'm gonna put in just a little bit of butter just so we get a good idea of when it's gonna be ready. I know it sounds really loud, but I'm not really scraping it hard. I'm just, um, it's just metal touching metal. Okay, the burgers are ready to go in. We'll throw the impossible ones in there first. And right beside it, the possible ones. Okay. There they go. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, seasoning salt on both. Um, should do both, so it's only fair. I'm really resisting the urge to press these down. I know Jack would be very upset if I did so I will hold off. It's been going for a few minutes, so I still haven't flipped. Um, you can see that the impossible meat holds together uh, really well, whereas the real meat uh, tends to fall apart. The uh, This particular beef is actually very lean. I know there's actually things you can do to, you can mix in with it to make it hold together better, uh, but we're just going totally raw dog in it with these ones. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna flip them. Let's flip the Ooh, impossible one here. Sure. Looks like a pretty good deer. I didn't press it down, I promise. I just moved it a little bit. Um, they both look like they have pretty good sears. Uh, I think the real meat looks a little bit better. But the other one doesn't look awful right now. Uh, I guess we'll see. It's kind of hard to say what it, what they smell like because I'm cooking both at the same time, so it just kind of smells like cooking burgers. We're getting pretty close. Maybe a little bit longer. Uh, for the things we put on the burger, we got onions, lettuce, and I didn't have a regular tomato, so I just sliced up some grape tomatoes. Um, hopefully that'll be good. I think I've got pickles in there somewhere. I'll pull them out too. It's got to be the whole complete, complete burger. Alright, we've got some pickles. Now they're partly frozen on top, but I think inside they're okay. And some uh, jalapeno slices. I like spicy stuff, so I'll probably put a couple on mine. Okay, these are getting towards well done, so I'm going to go ahead and call it. I'll take the uh, impossible bruise off first here. pretty easy to tell apart, at least for me, so I'm not worried about mixing them up. Okay, we're going to make some eggs to go with our burgers here. I'm going to make these over easy, of course, so we get the yolk. Hopefully I don't break them under pressure. That's okay. It's just one. Three out of four is not too bad. The one I broke is cooking a little bit faster. Okay, there we go. We'll uh, put some salt and pepper on them. I guess we don't really uh, get fast food anymore. We never really have that much. Uh, you know, 
we got we got it at the airport <laughs> when we were coming here. But since we're in burger mode, uh, what's your favorite like fast food burger place like McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Hardee's, all that stuff? Well, um, basically in Argentina we have one burger place that I really love. And I think it's the best one that I have ever tried in my entire life, including here. I think we try one here in particular that we don't have in Argentina. But the difference is not so much the style of burger or anything, it's just the bread. The bread is so good and I don't know if I should mention them because they haven't paid me. <laughs> oh, what, what is it called? Uh, should I say it? Yeah. Um, it's La Birra. It's I, in I went there with you. You, you, you that was gone with me, yeah. That place was great, but uh, it's not fast food. Oh, why not? It's not fast food. It's like a sit-down cafe beer no, restaurant. No, it's not. It's fast, it's not, food. fast you food, can't, we call it dirty food. That's like that's like saying that Zombie Burger... Because basically, Zombie Burger here is a lot like that place uh, that place is better La Bira is definitely better but well, I'm talking about fast food like, um, like well I would say then I don't know the difference but if you don't there's a big difference my... I am a native to the world capital of knowing the difference between fast food and not fast yes, food yes you created the, the burger <laughs> well we didn't create the burger but we <laughs> definitely took it to the cosmos okay well if I have to say one that everyone will know I will say um, Burger King is my favorite. I love the stacker. Oh, the stacker, yeah. The stacker is my favorite. It's just sometimes I only crave the stacker. I haven't tried it since I came here and I'm just sad that I haven't had well, it. Well, yeah, we can't have that now, but. Now. Um, I promise me that we will have it. Yeah, we Sometimes will. Sometimes I just crave it. I'm like, yeah. that sauce and the bacon and how it's made and exactly the size I... They have the size that I need just to feel... I, like, I, I crave uh, the Whopper. The uh, Whopper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also very good. I think my favorite restaurant is Burger King and my favorite um, combo is the Stacker. Okay. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm... Burger King is also my favorite as well. Oh! Uh, That's where we are. I, well, I I don't know. It's just the Whopper for some reason. I, I've had McDonald's plenty of times, and just the Big Mac. I feel like there's just no comparison between the two. Like McDonald's may have better fries. People say that, um, but I I just think the burgers are better at Burger King. So if I have to choose one of those two, I'm gonna usually just get a Whopper because that's what I like. I have this theory that. I invented myself <laughs> where I feel like if you were a kid and your parents took you to McDonald's then you love McDonald's just because you have happy memories there with Bruno. Oof, I think it's ready. That's the toast for the yeah. for the bread. <laughs> it's ready. But I actually um, I was taken to McDonald's quite a lot and uh, the, And you still No, yeah. So it's... you are throwing my theory to the yes. garbage. Yes. I don't know, I bet someone in that is watching agrees with me. Well, here's the thing though. If you were taken to, to McDonald's too much, or like as a way to sort of rebel against your parents, I could see why you would choose the opposite. I, I was taken to both equally, actually, as a kid. Oh, so that, that's why you don't follow my theory to, yeah, to but, the tea. Yeah, but like... So we were also a Coca-Cola drinking house when I was growing up. That's what we got. We never had Don't Pepsi. Don't in that because you know I love. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like in order to be different, because I hadn't had Pepsi that much when I got out of the house in my early twenties. I started drinking Pepsi. Like Pepsi was my cola. I don't drink a lot of soda now, but back then, when I could, I drank a lot of soda and Pepsi with what I drank after I left the house. But, after a while, hello kitty. Hello. After a while, the Pepsi started to taste like nothing. I don't know why, but maybe I just got tired of it, but I just began to not taste it anymore. And I switched back to Coke, and I've been a Coke drinker ever since. 
Yeah. But, well, not now, but we have, uh, we, we, we might have Diet Coke every once in a while, but, yeah. I love Coke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to promote them. If they want me to promote them, they need to pay me. Taking notes, Coke. CEOs. All right. First up, we've got the Impossible Burger. Let's take a look at it. Actually, it's more of a patty melt, but this is what the inside looks like. Seems to be pretty well done. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. I promise. The egg yolk is coming out there. kind of weird. I think I need to take a bite of the burger by itself, but it's, the texture is weird. It's very soft. It's like cake. It tastes like you're eating cake. Well, it doesn't taste like it. I mean, it feels like it. I mean, it's not revolting. Um, I'm going to try just a little piece of the meat on its own so I can give a better opinion of the meat itself. It's not bad. Um, it doesn't really taste like a burger. And I don't think you're gonna trick yourself into thinking it is. Just the texture's wrong, the taste isn't there. Um, but it does look like a burger, I guess. So there's that. Maybe if you didn't know, possibly you would be like, oh, that's this burger's a little strange. It feels a little light. But it's not awful. It's not it's not awful. Um, but we'll have to try the real burger. And, and there are the possible burger, rather, and see if it uh, see if it tastes better or not. But I would eat. I mean, I would eat this. I just I might not elect to make it <laughs> over a real one. But you'll be okay if you eat this, though. And the smell? It doesn't smell like anything. But it, it smelled awful when we took it out of the package. Getting the sudden urge to go live in a pod. What is a pod? It's okay. It's alright, that's that's my verdict on that is it's okay. Um, it's not gonna trick you into thinking it's meat, definitely. Um, it only looks like it. That's it. All right, let's see what Marina thinks of the Impossible Burger. Okay, first I want to try the bread because I never tried this keto bread, so yeah, it's, I don't know how it is. Yeah, it's keto bread. It's uh, a little bit different. It's like cardboard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The taste is is uh not amazing, but the texture is okay. The, the texture is similar. Yeah. But I don't know. Tastes like cardboard. Careful of the yolk. Um, Ooh, the egg looks good. Yeah, the egg really makes it, honestly. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You see what I mean about it feeling like light? Like, like very soft. Almost as if the meat is not even there. I'm sorry, but I will try this separately.
could be anything. The good days that you're feeling, it's the seasoning and the other yeah. elements. I, I just don't feel that it's meat at all. Do you see what I mean though about the, like the light tech consistency? It's, yeah, it, it feels it's like, like you're- like a paste. Yeah. Something that you don't know, but yeah. it kind of blends with other flavors, but it doesn't have any flavor on itself. It's just like dog food. I'm not kidding. Mm. Mm. I don't think it's that bad, but it's not good. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're never going to fool yourself into, I mean, into not, thinking. Uh, I mean, if you're desperate. Yeah, you can eat it. It's not going to make you it, vomit or something. I don't know if I will finish it. Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't want that in my body. I don't know what it is. It's soy, actually. Yeah, and I Partially. have a story with that, so... No. Okay. <laughs> Here's the real burger. It looks a lot worse because I did a really bad job cutting it. I cut it in half. I did kind of a hack job. Um, but let's take it out here. The meat is much more pink on the inside. So even though they were both cooked like the exact same, uh, let's take a take a bite. I mean, I know it's kind of unfair, you know. How could? Let's see. Oh God, with that bread, I don't know. There's no comparison, honestly. Um, Don't is, cry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, this is good. <laughs> this is good. Um, it's like night and day. I mean, of course, like the other is an imitation of this. So, you know, what are you, what are you expecting? Uh, but anybody that, that tells you that those soy burgers taste, at least the ones that I got, anyone that tells you that those can taste just like burgers, are lying to you. They do not remember what burgers taste like. <laughs> uh, but there's just no comparison. This one is stronger. Um, I even noticed when I was cutting it, it was harder to cut than uh, the other one. It's it's just a whole world better. Honestly, I'm going to take another bite. Oh yeah. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> cry of happiness. <laughs> no. Mm. It's good. It's very good. Especially after that last one. Again, it, it's not terrible. Like it's not gonna. It's not gonna make you gag or something. The other one. It's just. It, there's just no comparison. They haven't. They haven't cracked the code yet. Not that I've seen. Not with that kind. They have not cracked the code yet. So, this is excellent. Sorry, cows. This is the impossible patty. It smells strange. Um, you know what it smells like? Oh, what is that stuff? It smells like, uh, like sesame oil. It smells, like if you ever have sesame oil that you season things, like Asian dishes, it smells a lot like that. This is the uh, other half of the patty that Marina didn't want to eat. Just, okay. It just tastes weird. It's just weird. It's uh, it's not again. It's not like disgusting. It's just weird and not happy. Like if you were wanting a burger and you got this. You wouldn't be happy. Let's just put it that way.
Also, uh, I wanted to mention, uh, there's been a few people who have asked how they could support me um, over, I guess, the last couple of years, a few months. Uh, and I do ha I did finally end up making a Patreon and a Ko-Fi if you want to do that, but don't feel obligated. I'm going to keep making videos. And honestly, it makes me really uncomfortable, this type of thing. And I'm not, I mean, it, it's trying times, right? So we could all use some help. So if I could use, I could use some more motivation to make videos and get more of them out. Um, I'm still trying to figure out like the Patreon tiers and everything like that. I'm not experienced with this type of thing at all. Um, I've got my wife Marina helping me with that. Um, I think there's another way. I think there's like a cash app or whatever. Um, I don't really know what to give you guys as a reward. I know, you'll see that there are tiers on there, um, but we're still figuring that out. For now, I, I am probably going to have. Uh, I'm going to let you, let anybody get into a Discord server that I made, so uh, we can talk and you can talk to each other and hang out and meet people that way. Um, also, I do have a. I'm going to start coming out with a newsletter. Uh, probably monthly and that's totally free so you don't need to send me anything for that uh, I'm just gonna talk about like what the plans for the channel are new recipes that type of thing um, take a look if you want to like take a look at the tiers on patreon and um, honestly I have really no idea I don't have no idea what I'm doing and this is awkward and uncomfortable so um, if you want to help me out with that um, I, I want it to be fair, and I want it to be something that you value. So if you have any ideas for me, I would really love to hear it. Uh, thank you uh, so much, and we'll see you next time. It's like suddenly I hate capitalism.